Hey everyone and welcome to VFX Vibe once again. In today's video, we are going to see how we can split our light setup from Maya if you want a separate control while compositing. It's very important to understand why we need to split our lighting setup uh, because if you have uh, multiple lights in your scene and it's directly impacting your subject. So if you're going to render your direct lighting passes, what will happen each and every light which is contributing to the light setup is going to bake on the same layer of your direct lighting. What I mean to say that? Let's jump to screen and I will show you there. So here in screen, as you can see, I have a pretty decent setup and I have few lights, one, two, three, four lights. And if I'm going to render it, you'll see I have already rendered it. You can see easily I have a very good amount of blue light coming from this side, from this side. A red light is coming from uh, as a bounce light and our key light is orange light. So I have a different, different setup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my uh, setting, render setting. And over here in AOV, I'm going to render a direct light simple direct light. I'm going to add AOV and after doing that, I'm going to hit render. So as you can see over here, uh, while it's rendering, if I'm going over here where beauty is written and if I'm going to use direct light, so nothing is changing because each and every light which is contributing to lit this scene or lit this character is going to bake on a single layer. So suppose that if you want to work on blue light only, you don't have that specific control or if you want to work on this light only, you don't have that specific control. So if you want to split our lighting in a, a, on the basis of light I have used, so how we can do that, it's pretty basic. So we need to open our render setup and in active AOVs over here, we don't have that splitted version of AOV. So we need to create our own AOV. So how we can do that? Just click on add custom. It will ask what will be the name of AOV. So I'm going to type RGBA because I want those channels underscore your name of the light. So key orange, so might be I can type key underscore orange. Keep it in mind that your naming should match as per your light name. So I'm going to uh, do this RGBA underscore key underscore orange as my key orange is over here. So I'm going to create it after that. What we need to do. So I need to select my key orange. And over here in AOV light, keep it in mind, it's pretty important, very, very important uh, step. You have to mention which AOV light group you want. So probably I can copy this. I can copy same name. You have to put same name over here. So I'm going to select my key orange and AOV light group should be my key orange, right? Same way, I'm going to add another AOV name that should be RGBA underscore your second uh, light is rim 01 blue. So I'm going to might be I can copy it or I can write it down rim underscore 01 underscore blue something like that name should be identical, right? So I'm going to create it. Just select your rim 01 blue and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put my AOV name as this same way. I'm going to create my further AOVs and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I have created my all plated version of my lighting setup. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my renderer and I'm going to hit render one more time. So as it's rendering, if I'm going over here, beauty is this. And if I'm going to select RGB bounce red, you can see only I have my bounce light, which is red in color is participating in this particular layer. Same way I'm going to hit RGBA indirect. So indirect, I don't have much data in indirect. So I, I don't have indirect light RGB key orange. So 
only that particular light which is participating in this area is going to bake in that particular layer same way rgb blue 1 rgb blue 2 so this is the way how we can split our lighting as aovs inside maya and let's jump to nuke how we can tweak those informations while compositing okay here in nuke i have my exr render and in that particular exr i have my bounce rate same which i have showed you there i have key light and i have blue light so let's start compositing a basic compositing we are not going to do high fundu compositing but for a basic compositing let's let's do that i am going to add few root pipers so that i can start me compositing over here i'm going to uh, click one dot node and i'm going to take a node called shuffle because we need shuffle node just for shuffling out our layers so here we have our shuffle node and in this shuffle node let me do one over here so that it will create less confusion and in shuffle node i'm going to start with my probably bounce red light and if you want to change naming over here just you need to go to here in node and you can type a uh, value in it should not be in caps it should be in small so my caps lock was on so i'm going to type value in so as you are going to type value in in bracket so whatever the layer you are going to shuffling it out your name uh, will be displayed over here so i'm going to copy it i'm going to paste it and i'm going to take another dot node and i'll start bringing my layers might be i can use rgb key orange so over here i have orange light only so i'm going to take a merge node and in merge node i'm going to merge both the layers in plus mode right so i have plus mode so we have red and we have orange same way i'm going to copy my shuffle one more time and i am going to connect this and in this in particular shuffle i'm going to take a blue light which will be this and i'm going to hit merge one more time that will be background and this will be my foreground and same way i'm going to plus it right and again i'm going to paste uh, one more shuffle node and i'm going to shuffle my uh, rim to blue this will be this light and again same way i'm going to plus it I'm going to plus it and if I'm going to see my this merged layer and this both the inputs will be identical. Why? Because I am recreating my beauty with the help of my layers. So suppose that if you want to increase the intensity of orange layer and you also want to put some sort of a uh, tint to it so what i can do i can take a grade node and might be i can go to my gain and here i can give it a tint so as you can see over here only my this area or this light is affecting rather than working overall right so this is the profit same way if you want to enhance the intensity of this red color so might be i can take one more grade or color corrector node and might be i can do uh, increase some gain or multiply something like that and if i want to uh, make some contrast on rim light probably i i know that i have my this rim light i uh, might be i can decrease some gamma value and increase some game just to create some contrast over here also if you want to glow your separate light or particular light what you can do is suppose that if you want to glow your uh, uh, uh this light this rim light how we can do that yes i have that particular light on separate layer so what i can do i can take a node called glow so i, I can add glow over here and in glow i can uh, type effect only might be i can increase the size of the that particular glow and i can take merge and i can merge glow back to my original one and i can probably plus or screen as you want and if you can see i have a subtle glow over here if you want to increase the glow size more you can do it or you think that this is too much you can reduce the opacity so this is the way how we can split our lights inside maya and render them on separate layers as aov just to control each and every particular light 
inside nuke while doing compositing so hopefully this video will help you just to understand if you want particular control on each and every light you can split your lights in separate layers and you can render it out as a aov and you can start compositing inside new hopefully this video will help you and if you think that this video will help you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day